In this video, I will show you how you can easily make a clipping mask in Illustrator. I'll show you four of the most common uses. By the end, you'll know everything you need to know to effectively make a clipping mask in Illustrator. I'll start with something pretty basic and then get to more complex designs near the end. So to begin, let's just go ahead and start with our first example. I'll enable my first image here and I have this image of this girl. What I want to do is to have a colorful background and then I want to have the image and the background within a circular shape. So I'll just go ahead and grab my rectangular tool and then just draw out my background color. And let's go ahead and make this yellow. Somewhere around there, I'll just right click and arrange this and send this to back. And then I'll align this background to the center. So now let's go and grab our ellipse tool and draw out a circle by holding Alt and Shift on your keyboard. Make sure nothing is selected. And then I'll align this circle to the center. And now let's select all of our shapes and images. You can either hit Control or Command on your keyboard and hit 7, or you can, with all your images and objects selected, go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And now I just want to make sure that my background actually covers the entire circle. So I'll make my background color bigger. And then with your Direct Selection tool, or A on your keyboard, you can select your image, and then hit V to go back to your normal selection tool, and then you can drag this and scale your image up and move it around. And now it's all kind of grouped together. You don't need to worry about it all coming apart. And in my layers here, you can see I have my clipping mask and then all my other layers underneath. Easy stuff. Let's move on to the next example here, and I'll be using this image. So what I want to do is to have a bunch of shapes on this image and have this image kind of show through. This will make more sense when I actually do it, but in my case, I want to use a honeycomb shape. So again, under your shapes, I'll choose the polygon tool and holding Alt and Shift on my keyboard, just drag out this shape. This size should be good. I'll hit I on my keyboard to grab my eyedropper tool. I'll just sample the white color and then I'll just zoom in a bit. And let's just drag out some more of these polygon shapes. And then I'll hit Command or Control and D to duplicate my last effect. So now I will just select all of these shapes, drag that up, and holding Alt or Option on my keyboard, just duplicate these shapes. And I will copy these shapes and duplicate them one more time. So the spacing might not be perfect, but that's okay for this example. I'll select all of these shapes, deselect this image, and then go up to Object, Compound Path, and Make. And then let's just go ahead and center these shapes, select the shapes and the background, then go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And now, as you see, the image is shown between all of these different shapes. And with your direct selection tool selected, you can drag and move this image around. Okay, now on to the third example. I will hide this image and enable this image. What I want is to have some text and then to have these leaves be behind the text, but like show through the text and also have kind of a 3D effect where some of these leaves are popping out of this text. So. Let's go ahead and just type out leaf. Align this to center and I will make this font pretty big. I'll change my font as well to Poppins and make this extra bold. Perfect. Now I like to grab my text and then just bring down the opacity so I can see behind much easier so I can kind of see what leaves would be popping out. So let's go ahead and just move this around here. So I can see this leaf would be popping out. These would be kind of 3D. This leaf would be out of the, uh, the text a bit. Uh, this leaf would be out and this leaf would be out. So that looks pretty good. So to make this easy, let's lock our text and the background image. Now let's grab our pen tool and then just start tracing around some of these leaves that we want to come out of this text.
Okay, that should be good for now. I will re-enable my text or unlock it and bring the opacity back up to 100%. And with my text selected, let's go to Object, Expand, and Expand, okay. So now if I go into wireframe mode with Command or Control and Y, you'll see that the text is no longer editable and it's now an object. So let's highlight our text and the leaves. Go up to Window, Pathfinder, and hit the Unite option. So that will merge all of the leaves and the text shape into one object. So you see that the leaves are no longer overlapping. And now before we make this a clipping mask, we want to go up to Object, Compound Path and Make. And we do that because these objects are not touching. As you see, these letters are their own individual shapes. So now let's unlock our background and select the text and the leaves and then hit Command or Control and 7 to make a clipping mask. Or again, you can go up to Object and just choose Clipping Mask and Make. It's a nice effect. And now finally, I want to show you how to make a clipping mask with some text. So let's just drag out our text box. I'll have a header and then some body text. So let's just make this like 40, sure, 24 points. And then I'll just right click and fill this with the placeholder text. Let's make that smaller, 24. Okay, perfect. So again, let's make this an object and not editable text. So this time we can go to type and create outlines. And now if I go into wireframe mode with Commander Control and Y, you'll see that it's no longer editable. So this time I want to drag out my background color with the rectangle tool and let's make this a gradient. And I want to just choose one of the default gradients. Uh, let's choose something different. Something with more colors. Spectrums. There we go. Nice rainbow color. So let's bring this to the back by right clicking, arrange, and send to back. And now let's select our background and our text and again hit command or control and seven. Actually, no, before you do that, you want to make sure this is a compound path because again, these are all individual shapes. Select the text, go to compound path and make. And now we can select the background and the text. Hit command or control and seven. Yes. And there we go. We have our text with the gradient behind and that makes a really cool effect. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.